What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing. I know you guys love that. Clashing FFS. And we have another installment, another episode, another video, whatever you want to call it, of Beyond Epic. Um, I don't even... Okay, so, so far, and I, I just created the, the new playlist for Beyond Epic. I will be uh, cherry-picking all the, the different videos that will be going in that playlist. But as you guys know, we've featured uh, Nivy 10 3 star uh, on this. We've done uh, 11 v 11 triples, all different kinds of town hall, uh, interesting and unique town hall 10 3 stars. We've never done a 10 v 11 attack though, ever. And something incredible happened. Although Alita Valor did not get the victory, losing by one star to Valar Mugulis. Shout out to both of these clans. No guys uh, that play for, uh, you know, inside of both these clans. Shout out to both of them. But something happened. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to hit replay. And I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. We have the Nidiko uh, who hit this base i'm hoping you guys did not check the percentage i want you guys just to take a look at this base i mean this is a straight up i mean this is a town you know an anti-2 kind of ish 2.5 uh but not really uh, but you know just a generic anti-2 layout a couple of things make this attack remarkable number one this base was almost three starred we'll go ahead and see how exactly nadiko did that um but the fact also, I mean, that it was done fresh. So, in the troop comp, we got 11 wall breakers. We have 5 healers. We have a golem. We have 15 bowlers. Then we have baby dragon. You know, just a couple uh, percentage. You know, like, you know, just a few archers and things like that. 4 rage, a jump, and a pair of poisons. Wait until you guys see this incredible attack. Damn near a 3 star. I'm sorry. But, I mean, there, there are some people who can't even get a 2 star. Everyone knows how difficult uh, a 10v11 is. Some saying more difficult than a 10v10. Wait until you guys see this attack. So, we'll go ahead and hit play. Queen is going to be coming in down here at the bottom. I about shit my pants when I saw this attack unfold. It truly is remarkable. So, we got the healers obviously behind the queen. Getting pretty low on health. Goes ahead drops down that rage spell baby dragon on the lab uh, just to help set this funnel wall breakers down they were raged up so they're even going to go ahead and get a double air wall break so so far so good on this charge uh so we got the red bomb that's going to go ahead and hit the healers but once the camp goes down you guys will see where he's going to go ahead and drop down that golem with the rest of those uh, bowlers. But here we go. Queen actually ends up redirecting. It almost looked like she was going to go for that camp. But she redirected. She is going inside this base now. Uh, just trying to set up the show for the bowler smash portion. And look how far away that town hall is. Uh, obviously trying to entice the attacker to at attack from the top. Um, but figured that uh, Nadiko figured I can get a solid charge uh, on this. And look, Queen's still going. Uh, there's only point defenses on the initial entry uh, where he did drop down those two rage. But look, inside that core, there's not a lot of DPS inside that core. But here we go. We have Gollum down. The jump going to be leading all this bowler smash portion into the core. Goes ahead and drops down his poison to go ahead and take care of the enemy CC. Look at these bowlers under rage. Still has one more rage left up. That bowler even took out that wizard tower and got the skips off of that archer tower up there. And look at uh, getting the bounces off the storage and off the wall. End up taking out that eagle, uh, that eagle artillery. And look at look at king up there. We got queen getting tanked. Uh, healers are no longer on her. So right here he goes ahead and drops down the poison healers switch over so now he's able to save his ability i don't think he saw his queen he actually could have uh, saved that ability uh when you i mean when you look at it when you watch the replay uh you know you notice it then during the live attack it's so hard to tell uh but but he took out queen with that max poison slowing the enemy queen down but yes he could have saved that ability but here we go uh bowlers kind of tanking uh that inferno tower getting rock skips off the it notice guys i haven't even said the percentage yet 
81% already. Look at what is left of this. Look what is left of this base. Those bowlers are going to go ahead and take out the mine and the barracks. And look at this. It, I mean, if anything, it was pretty much going to be a time fail. If he had saved that ability, this pretty much would have been a time fail. There's only a few. By a few, I mean a lot. I mean, but it, there's no more splash. We got two expos and just uh, two cannons. And we got two Teslas. Actually, took out one of the Expos. But look at what is left. Two cannons, two Expos, and... Uh, no, two cannons, one Expo, and two Teslas. That is it. That is all that was left of this base. A 92%. And again, I already know in the comment section, oh, I've been getting 10v11 three stars on Max Town Hall 11s since, you know, Town Hall 11 came out. I don't know guys, 92%, that might be, that might be the most percentage that I've seen, possibly what I've even, uh, that I've ever even heard of. I, I'm really curious to know what you guys think of that attack, down in the comment section below. This, you guys know, this is beyond epic, so, I gotta do a couple things here. Number one, this was an amazing attack, an attack that I don't see very often, uh, at least in Forbidden or uh, Forge from Steel. Uh, but this one is the that Octababy attack. Um, but yeah, so we have Beck plays Clash. Very clever spelling. And so it, it, this is a two for one. It's an epic attack. And we're burning uh, one of York's uh, Town Hall 9 builds. So I definitely have to show you guys this one. I, I've never even actually tried to do this attack myself. But I know it is red hot. You might have seen it on uh echo through me's channel i know he features this attack quite a bit definitely want to give it a try though but it's where you have a stoned entry you got the bowlers coming out of the cc like so king and queen going right behind uh and you're using the double jump so and pretty much you're using all the spells on the kill squad using the jump uh on the initial entry that rage and heal in the core plus we got the jump spell uh, while those troops are still inside that rage kind of pushing into the back end But the idea behind this is taking down all four of the air defenses and you kind of let the baby dragons not only take out the trash around the outside of the base uh, But also take out the defenses. We still got queen ability as well. Where is she? There she is Okay, she ended up running outside the base, but bowlers end up taking out the fourth and final air defense um, but just to show how powerful this attack strategy is, look at what he's going to be ending on. He's going to be ending on two Archer Towers, two Wizard Towers, an Expo, a Tesla. We even got like a mini farm over here with another Archer Tower. Um, but just to, I mean, really show how strong this attack strategy is. If Queen went in and she took that jump under ability, she pretty much would have taken out all these defenses right here. But even with her walking outside, uh, he was able uh, to salvage that Queen ability. Um, and it got that actually that giant bomb just took out that Gallmite at the very, very end. But check this out. He has two baby dragons down, or three baby dragons up there at the top. Uh, and this queen goes ahead and pops ability. He's going to get that archer tower. He's going to go ahead and get that cannon. But with all air defenses down, uh, and this one, uh, this are these two, once that one went down, we have two baby dragons still raged up. Look at these baby dragons under rage do absolute work. The last building, incredibly enough, to go down is actually going to be that expo. Uh, but these baby dragons have so much tank, and that, that attack did not go... I'm sure to uh, Beck plays clash uh, to how he or she figured um, they were going to take this base out and still end up getting it done. Ending on an expo. Definitely want to give that one uh, a try though. Really, really like those big kill squad attacks. Uh, I have to throw that and add that into my arsenal. But taking down number four, uh, a 10v11, the first 10v11 that we have seen in the beyond epic series i really hope uh that you guys enjoyed that 92 percent cannot believe it uh incredible incredible stuff but guys that is going to do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below and as always this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.